Hello friends, welcome again to this video lecture of uh, configuring uh, Jenkins Operation Center. So in this lecture we are going to learn how to create a uh, shared slave. So here uh, to configure a shared slave in this if you see our architecture diagram uh, here are the shared slave inside the and they are configured at the Jenkins Operation Center. They will be uh, directly configured uh, there and here we are at the Jenkins operation center so here go to the new item and just here if you see there is a shared slave option so what I'm going to do is uh, my shared slave just give it a name whatever you like and um, go to ok click ok my shared slave and one here uh, then remote host so what this shared slave will be obviously as I said previously uh, the best practices says that this would be independent uh, separate servers or VMs so what I did previously is I created a separate slave and what I did uh, I from this my image from my base image where Java Maven and uh, git install already i created a vm from this uh, by uh, just going to manage and cloning it same thing i did what i did previously and again i changed the ip address i changed the host name for uh, understanding who this server is and uh, i just uh, i'm running this server right so here same thing now one and give a remote fs root so what this ex this particular field expects you have to give a remote uh, direct freeze where it can um, save thus uh, there is some jar files as a slave jar where it can save so what i did is, is just logged into this jenkins slave right so i gave i created this directory var jenkins okay so here I created this so you have to do a make dir okay mkdir for making this direct creating this directory and give that here okay and uh, just give the number of executors as one any positive number how many executors you want to and the launch method I, I want to give at using SSH okay launch slave agents on the Unix machine by SSH so he give the host IP here okay and uh, this is i what is my ip here uh, 42 as a slave okay and i have actually given the root ip i have created if you uh, these are all already credential i have created otherwise if initially you won't have anything so just go and add um, go to add and jenkins and here you can give username and password and uh, you can save add those I have already added number of uh, root and password so this is my root for a uh, root user for this slave and also the password so here I assign the host name username and password take this node offline when idle uh, I don't want to do that keep this alive online as much as possible okay that's all and just save it so okay now it is you see that once it is uh, your everything uh, the host ip and username and password correct it will just give available for each that means in this diagram uh, we have created a shared slave and this is now available to the operation center for anybody to lease this slave okay so that's the idea uh, now go to Jenkins and we see that here we have created a client master we have created a client master we have created a slave and now we have to create this uh, Jenkins analytics go forward and we okay uh, we'll do that we'll do that in our next video uh, thank you for watching